guys, it's Sarah, and this is the second time I'm recording this because I accidentally deleted my footage. Today I'm going to be talking about my Y'all Fest 2015 experience. So basically I tried to vlog while I was in Charleston and I did a really terrible job. So all my clips are just super random and kind of out of context. So I thought I would combine a story time with a vlog thing and it would come together as this child that is this story time vlog, and I will tell you what happened at Y'all Fest. So first things first, I drove to Y'all Fest because Charleston is only five and a half hours away, and Sana from Ink Bones and I carpooled because she also lives in Atlanta. We woke up early Friday morning and we drove, and when we got there, we looked a hot mess because we had been driving for over five hours and we were nasty. So we stopped at the Airbnb that Sana was staying at and we got ready, and then we headed over to where all the other booktubers were hanging out, and I ended up hanging out with Emma from Emma Books and Michael from Michael Bookline and that was really fun and we ended up going to a Lee Bardugo signing because on Friday there was this thing called Y'all Crawl which is basically like all the big name authors they have signings on Saturday but then they also have signings on Friday and so we did that and we waited in line for Lee Bardugo for a very very long time um we're at the Lee Bardugo I always smell my finger. I don't know why. We're also like with Sana and, oh God, and Maureen, in. and Maureen and I got recognized by yeah. Rachel, Marissa, Marissa and, Jessica. and Jessica. Got him. Thanks for liking us. Thanks. Um, Thanks for watching our videos. We appreciate it. We do. We do. And we're going to get things signed by Lee Bardugo now. Sarah, she doesn't anything right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure why Lee wrote The End Is Nigh, but she did. And then I was able to hop over to Sabah Tahir's line because it was super short and there was no wait. And we got to talk about An Ember in the Ashes, which was super lovely. And I was getting all my signatures on this little print thing that Sana had made. Basically the idea was that you get all the signatures from the authors on this paper instead of having to carry around a bunch of books and then you could frame it at the end. And it was really cute and nostalgic. Sabah Tahir is somewhere. Oh, oh. There she is, and I got her signature. Also, Michael got <laughs> Ruin and Rising signed by Sabah. It's so funny. Unfortunately, later that night, I ended up losing the print, and so I no longer have it. In the arms of the angel. After getting those two signatures, I kind of just took some random footage of the library we were in. Then the most thrilling thing of the evening occurred. Kat, Jesse, and Christine were invited to this author party that was just like in this random mansion in Charleston. And Kat ended up texting Michael and saying, hey, do you guys wanna come? So we were like, yes, yes, we would like to come to that. So we went and we were like at the party and we were just like chilling near all these authors. And it was just like, Oh my gosh, is that Veronica Roth like five feet away? She's so beautiful. Oh hey, it's Sabati here. Oh hey, it's Renee Audier. Oh hey, Meg Cabot. Oh, what's up, E. Lockhart? But it was cool just being there and I ended up getting some really good footage. <laughs> just kidding, yeah, the footage was terrible, but I did get a photo with Arl Stein. He kind of begged Michael and I to take a photo with him. It was super weird. I think he just like knew I was a fan and I was like, all right, Bob, we'll take a photo with you. And then the next morning, the first thing I did was go to the opening keynote thing with Jenna. And basically it was Arl Stein and Rochelle Mead with Cami Garcia moderating. You might have noticed in the Blue Lights parking lot we have a fabulous merch tent. And let me just say that Arl Stein is the most adorable man to ever live on this planet. And he is basically my dad. He told us the story of how he got the name 
for the Goosebump series. So one day I was reading TV Guide. This is actually a true story. And those days they had TV listings in the middle of the thing, and I was reading the TV listings, and there was a little ad down at the bottom of the page, and it said, it's Goosebumps Week on Channel 11. And I just stared at it, thought, this is perfect. We will call it Channel 11. <laughs> <laughs> After that, Jenna and I met up with Sana and Liz from Liz Loves Literature, Monica from She Might Be Monica, and I think that was the whole group, but we went to this really random jewelry store. So, okay. She has a whole bunch of like maxi skirts and they're all really pretty. Did you buy it with Yeah. <laughs> Hello. After the jewelry store, we took some really cute and fun photos because Jenna is an amazing photographer. I will definitely be linking all her stuff down below because she took amazing photos of Y'all Fest and also the book Explosion crew. And I decided it would be fun to shoot a very beauty guru outfit of the day video. again and we waited in line for Marissa Meyer because they wanted to get their book signed and let me tell you we waited for that woman for like two hours and I have never read the Lunar Chronicles so I didn't really feel very connected to it and then we went to lunch and after lunch we randomly walked through this market thing there were these ponies just like chilling and it was only three dollars to ride and I was like oh my goodness we're about to ride some ponies. We're gonna have some vlog footage of us riding ponies at Y'all Fest. We walked up to the desk and we were like, hey, can we ride these ponies? Is there a weight limit? And then the woman was like, yeah, it's a 120 pound limit. And we looked at each other and we looked down at ourselves and we looked up again and we were like, yeah, we definitely don't weigh 120 pounds. But let me tell you, I'm suspicious. I think these ponies could have handled more weight. I'm actually gonna Google it right now. How much can ponies carry? Okay, it says 150 pounds. I would have been able to do it. After the pony debacle, we headed over to the Booksplosion panel. I haven't read and I probably won't read um, just because there's so many and there's so many new ones coming out all the time. Around dinner time, all the booktubers were like, hey, we should get a huge group together and we should go to dinner. So about 13 of us were like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go to dinner. Oh, here's Kat. Kat's probably getting these subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Sarah. Subscribe to Sarah. This is CNN Breaking News. This just in. Kat O'Keefe, better known as Catty Tastic, has recently told people of the internet to subscribe to Sarah Without an H. You heard it here first. This is CNN News. <laughs> this is Monica from. This Hello. might be Monica. She, she <laughs> might be Monica. And that is Monica. There's Sana from Ink Bones Books. There's Christine from. We just filled in the blank. And then Liz from Liz Loves Lit. Or Oh, is it Lit? But I say. Oh, but your Twitter is Liz Loves Lit. That's misleading. And there's Emma from Emma Books. And Michael from Michael Book Lion. And Kat. But it's really about Kat. That's what it's about. There's Jesse. Got the whole explosion. What are we doing? We're, we're vlogging on my phone. And just Justine's or Jesse's? Just Justine's. Um, not Justine. It is Justine's. Just kidding. That was really bad. It's a southern cooking restaurant. The awkward thing about when we were at dinner was that when it came time to pay. I reached into my purse and then I looked up and then I looked into my purse and I said to my table, um, I think I lost my wallet. And it was really funny because everyone else at the table like started like freaking out and they were like, oh my gosh, you lost your wallet. Like, how are you gonna get home? Because everyone else was flying, but fortunately I was driving. And I just kind of like laid back and I was like, yeah, I lost it. Ugh. The only awkward thing was kind of like, how was I gonna pay for my dinner? But then Michael was like, a saint and he just like oh give me your bill 
and he took it and he paid for it and I thank you Michael for doing that. Michael's great, everybody go check him out. After dinner, we went to this ice cream place called Jenny's as a sort of last hurrah of like being together as booktubers. Here is my very good footage of us at the ice cream shop. <laughs> Yeah, basically I was about to film something and then Connor was like, oh, we're actually leaving. And then I was like, oops, oh well. And then I thought I turned off the camera, but it was still on. Then we said our goodbyes and it was very sad because we were just gonna miss each other so much. And then we went back to our hotel rooms. We woke up the next day and basically we went to lunch before we left and we went to this yummy place called Rarebit and I did get some bad footage from that. The office kind of ended last night and now I'm still in Charleston and I'm out to lunch with some people and I'll show you who they are again because that seems to be the only way I know how to vlog. Sana. Liz, Maureen, Monica, and we're eating really delicious food at this restaurant called Rarebit. So if you're in Charleston, you should eat here because our waitress was really nice and she's very honest because Maureen was asking her, should I get the steak and eggs or should I get the burger? And she was very honest. She was like, I'm not even really crazy about our steak and I just really appreciate that kind of honesty. So eat it, Rarebit. But this vlog is probably like not super great, but hopefully it's been entertaining thus far. But that's basically it for my office experience. I probably missed some stuff, but all you really need to know is that it was fun and I enjoyed myself and I really hoped to go to other events in the future and see my booktube friends IRL. But anyway, I'm gonna link all the people I talked about or that were in the clips down below because everyone is amazing and I just had a really great time. I hope you enjoyed this weird story time thing fail. I don't even know what this was, but yeah, you're all beautiful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. <laughs> Also, don't mind me wearing this hat. I know I'm indoors. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I don't wear this hat very often, and I thought, why not wear it in a video? So that's why this is happening.